look what turned up today. The overall finish on this exhaust is bloody good. I mean these welds here are a bit tatty but I'm going to be cutting them off and putting a couple of cuts in, two or three, to put a clamp on for all it there for seal it a bit better. <clears throat> but uh, for fifteen pounds and ninety eight pence with accessories and a reducer from a fifty one to a thirty eight that's bloody good. I really am impressed with the overall look of it. I really am. I thought it was carbon fibre, but it isn't. It's a stainless steel. And uh, it's either been hydro dipped or around that, yeah, painted. I don't it can't be painted, it'd be hydro dipped. But yeah, for 15 odd quid, for just under 16 quid, you can't go bloody bad with that. So I'll be fitting that onto the bike. Because <coughs> I've got mm, four more in one video. A review of the standard then I've got my Lextex SP1 which is on at the moment also my exhaust but it's a bit long for what I'm thinking and I'll put this on give it a try sound wise and for 16 quid that's a bargain that's a bargain I mean, I have gotten this one as well, which isn't mine. This is Callum's. Oh, shut up. That's Callum's. I mean, it's a bit shorter than that. This is for the one he's here. Peugeot, but... Yeah. Oh, shut up, computer. Yep, we'll get this on, eventually, and give it a review, and see where it goes from there. Oh, my God. 